So Jason, so you've recently released some books. Do you want to yeah. kind of give us a summary of There's what There's a, a main book called The Corruption of the Quran that gives basic scholarship on textual criticism and basic arguments of why the Quran has been corrupted. Okay. And then there's a book on the Trinity, uh, Islam and the Trinity, and uh, and one or two other like main books looking at Christianity and, uh, and Islamic theology. But then there's a main booklet uh, called uh, Muhammad: it, Ten Reasons Why Muhammad's a False Prophet. Okay. A booklet called Ten Reasons Why the Quran's Not the Word of God. Okay. And then another main booklet, all on Amazon. Is Islamic Dawah teams exposed the speaker's corner? So give us a a, a brief explanation of the Islamic Dawah team. Like, what's your experience so, been? So, so like a couple of years ago when I came, they were running the show here. They were like the mafia picking on young Christians. There was like 400, 500 at summer. They were dominating everything. And then there was a story that happened like uh, Jay Smith left but DCI started and they gave a pushback. Then as that was happening, Sokol Films came. They pushed the Islamic Dawah teams back. And then uh, Tommy Robinson, uh, Pastor Lynn came and really shook the place up from Canada. And then Tommy Robinson came and eventually the Islamic Dawah team's grip began to loosen and now uh, they don't run the show anymore they're, they're challenged every week and they find it difficult to answer the questions that the teams like Sokol Films and DCCI, Royal Blood Ministries and others brought uh, and it, the, the hold has been broken So how, you, how long have you been coming to Speaker's Corner? Uh, about, I think about three years okay. And how do you see its overall change like since you first started to, to now? Um, I think that there's a, a stronger Christian presence. Um, three years ago, the Islamic Dawah teams completely dominated it. But now, uh, there are strong uh, YouTube channels and debaters that they don't rule the roost. But it's still difficult because there's more of them and there's, there's more debate. Christian debaters need to come down and develop a ministry here uh, to reach out for the gospel. Okay, and you said you had two, well, from the two books, I'm just going to name two books. So you said one talks about why Muhammad's a false prophet. Yeah. Can you give us one reason? Uh, one reason? Uh, well, he married his adopted uh, son's wife. So the Quran just meets Muhammad's sexual needs. Okay. And uh, in terms of why the Quran is not the word of God, was that one? That's one of the. Yeah, the, the Quran's not the word of God because uh, it's been corrupted. Because when you look at the early hadiths in Bukhari, uh, it says that Uthman burnt the Quran. But as you look at the early hadiths, it's clear that there was verses missing, the stoning verse and other verses. So there's a lot of textual criticism that you can go into about the Quran and find that actually the Quran that they have today is not what was around in, in the time of Muhammad because it was just uh, something that was just put together ad hoc. Okay, and let's just, you know, the audience should appreciate Jason's uh, presence at the park because he travels from Manchester. Yeah, yeah. And he travels for, at four in the morning and he leaves at 12 midnight. So that is a long graft. I sometimes spend five, six hours here and I'm knackered when I go home. So we salute people like um, Jason coming down, kind of just <laughs> giving uh, the Dawa team some hard facts, some, some hard uppercuts that they can't deal with. Yeah. So, um, but I just want to say that Sucker Films has been a, a fantastic, uh, the teams like Paperboy and others, Bob the Builder and others, I don't think you realise how encouraging it is to people. My sister, who's not a Christian, uh, said to me only a year ago, she watches it. My brother says he watches it. They're not Christians. I've met people who have been in Scotland or have been here, there and everywhere and they say, oh, Sucker Films. So, don't forget COE as well, he's filming as well. And, and content over everything, he has a big influence. Uh, a lot of people watch his, his channel as well. And he promotes dialogue by a variety of groups, which is so important. So they're having a big impact, and, uh, but I think there's more to be done. Cool. And where, can you just repeat where people can get your books? Uh, just go on Amazon, type in Jason Burns Islam, and all the books will come up in Amazon. And if you don't want to pay, you can join Amazon and read them for free. Okay, cool. Right. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.